So this is one of those games, uh, one where I was using that 580 glove and I caught pretty well in it and it's worked pretty well for me in the past and I, I like it. It's solid. Um, but besides that, this is a game where my team was just outshot, out zone time. They were in our end a lot and it kind of shows in this. I don't know how we had a 2-0 lead to begin with. My team doesn't get a ton of shots and against this team we get even less shots. Somehow we had a 2-0 lead. Uh, and then it all fell apart in the second and I'm not like disappointed with myself or really the goals. The only one I really like would want back is, well, you want all goals back, but that second goal where the guy passed out front and I kind of bit on the first move, I would have wanted that, but where's the trailer for that? It's kind of like that thing. And then the first goal, like I had no clue where that was. I was obviously looking on the left of all the players because there's like four people on the right of me and so I was looking the other way and the guy shot it to the, my blocker side and I was too far left of the net because I was trying to look around and I was kind of trying to play if anything came out that way and they shot it against like where I was and it, I couldn't get to it in time. I didn't really see it come off either. And then like the third one was a ridiculous tip that never saw the shot once, had no clue where it was coming. I saw it once it hit the guy's stick and like I saw it go downwards and that's the only time I saw it. So I never saw it even come off. And then the last one is a tip from a guy coming back behind the net where my teammates on him, but not doing anything like there's yeah. After that point, you could tell that the other team just stopped like really pressing hard. And my team just gave up. Like I said, we don't get a ton of shots. So if we're down four, two, it's not going to change anything pretty much, especially against a good team like this. So the game kind of just got boring basically at the end. Cause no one was really trying all that hard anymore, which is annoying, but it is what it is. So if you're buying hockey equipment and you want to support the channel, check out the links in the description. In the U.S., check out the links to Pure Hockey. In Canada, check out the links to Hockey Supremacy. If you click those links and make a purchase, I get a kickback from the sale. So anything that comes back from that comes right back into the channel so I can make more content and doing like real reviews and stuff. I got buy gear to do a lot of the tests for it, so that costs money and it would be greatly appreciated. Otherwise, if you want to support the channel without buying anything, check out the links in the description to Patreon, buy me a coffee. Everything through there comes, again, back into the channel so I can make more content and doing real reviews.
You're watching HockeyReviews.ca